Welcome to Strip Trivia. On today's episode, we have the very first episode we ever recorded back in August of 2021. Since it was our first episode, we were still trying to figure out the format and the nicknames, uh, and we didn't have a set number of clothing items, so it wasn't super fair. We also have a repeat question about Victoria Beckham in the show. We didn't quite nail the stripping part. We forgot to do that a couple of times. And for some reason, we ended with a wild card question, and we didn't include any cheats. Despite that, we still hope you like <laughs> Despite all those things, we still hope you like the episode and watch it. I mean, listen to it. Welcome to Strip Trivia, the self-explanatory podcast where we do stripping and trivia. We're your hosts, Strip and Rachel. And Dangling Dan. Coming up, we've got four rounds of trivia, general, entertainment, literature, and geography, followed by a wild card question. Get a question wrong, you take a piece of clothing off. First guy to be naked is a loser. Let's get into our first episode of Strip Trivia. I think that was good. We probably just nailed it. <laughs> one take wonder. Five questions per round, starting with general. Rachel, you're up first. I'm up first? I'm too nervous to go first. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, question one. Are you ready? Yes. What was the first Pixar movie? <sighs> well, my gut instinct is thinking Toy Story. Um, hmm. I'll go with Toy Story. That's right. Ooh, all right. Okay, question two. What year did Facebook launch? All right. I was in high school, um, so it was right. Be- it was before I graduated. I would say, well, are you talking about to the general public or like? I don't know what I'm talking about. I because just... the Facebook probably launched on was it Harvard? You know, sooner than it did to the general public. So that's the distinction I would ask for. I don't have that distinction. <laughs> Do you want me to look it up? I, I, I would say it was it would launch to the general public. I would think 2000. Five, but I don't know. Okay, the answer that the internet told me before is 2004. Okay. We can just have you take off clothes now, and then later on, we can have you put something back on. No, I'll, I'll look it up right now. Okay. Yeah, okay, February 2004. It, um, that, that was when the Facebook launched, um, and when it became available was September 26th, 2006. And I said 2005. Yeah, you said 2005. So, all right, first piece of clothing coming off. Question three. What was eBay originally called? I picked it because I know you love eBay. Yeah, I was an early adopter, like elementary school. So auctions, like e-auction is my guess. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I don't know what it is. So. It's auction web. Auction, auction web, okay. Well, I guess that nice shirt bullshit. you like is coming off. All right. I don't think I'm even going to have to go. Okay, question four. What sporting event is held every Memorial Day? Indy 500. Yeah. I mean. I uh, picked way too easy questions for you. What do you mean? I've gotten two of them wrong. <laughs> but I mean, it's just my hometown, so. Yeah. Okay, question five, final question of general. How many countries don't use the metric system? Um, I believe it's just the U.S. It, I think Canada uses it. Mexico, I think, uses it. Yeah, I would say one. So out of all three countries in the world? I'm just thinking North America because I think everywhere else uses it. So I would say one. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's three. Australia? Australia uses it. Australia uses it. Um, What are they? Do you want to guess or do you want me to tell you? Just tell me because I already tried guessing. Liberia and Myanmar. Oh, of course. You know, I should have known that. I took a sock off. getting a phone call from your mom hang on okay back to general trivia rachel question one what is the largest french-speaking city outside of france is it quebec city oh i'm sorry is it montreal can we and and you have to like i think we should do a millionaire type thing and say final answer okay (laughs) because it sounds like you're just questioning me oh (laughs) so my answer is Montreal. Correct. Final answer. Correct. Montreal. Okay. Question two. Globe and Jerusalem are a type of what vegetable? Jerusalem. Globe and Jerusalem. Mm, what 
type of squash. Is that your final answer? It's just like really broad, so I feel like I have the most chances if I say squash. Okay, squash, final answer. No, it's artichoke. What is the symbol on the periodic table for sodium? I don't know the... Sodium was an easy one. I never learned it. Sodium? Is it an A? Or something? Yes. Okay. <laughs> or something. <laughs> have some Have some confidence. You got it right. Okay. What is Russia's equivalent to the CIA? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably in Russian, too. You, so I don't you know. know it. It's, um, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to give you a hint because you didn't give me any hints, but you've, you've heard it. You've heard it before. I slept through the Americans. Um, Putin was a part of this organization. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't even want to guess because I don't know. Okay, so it's like you just, I don't, I don't know. know it's final? Yeah. Well, what happens when they ring your doorbell? Don't don't make me. Ding dong, ding oh, dong. Oh, oh, the KBG. KGB. KGB. Yeah, KGB. So take off a piece of clothing. Oh yeah. You forgot the strip portion of this yeah. show. Okay, here goes my sweatshirt. This is the whole thing because I have headphones on. And I'm back. How your, many? Is that four questions? That was four for your last question. Who is married to Posh Spice? Is it a soccer player? You can't. It's not twenty questions. <laughs> you just, you just, I don't. I don't know celebrities. This you. This is an entertainment question. I guess that's it's general. I'm part of general. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, David Beckham. There you go. Correct. It's even. Are you serious? Yeah. Why are you so surprised? Okay. Cool. Good. Look at you. Is her name Victoria? These, yeah. Victoria Beckham. Okay, Victoria I've heard Beckham. of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that wraps up general. Let's move on now to literature. I don't read a lot of classic literature. I, I picked stuff that I think that you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Where does the book Fahrenheit 451 get its title from? That... It's because I think that's the um, temperature for burning books. That's my final answer, I guess. Yeah, it's the temperature at which paper burns. The like little caveat is that's that's what he thought it was, but it's like not technically, but that's what he thought it was. Okay. Yeah. We'll count it. Official <laughs> judges. <laughs> okay, two. Which fictional book character has been featured as a major character in more films than any other? Which fictional character has been featured in films more than any other? Yeah. My initial thought is James Bond. Let me just... I feel like you can get there. Scan my brain here. This is hard because there's a lot of fictional characters. Honestly, I don't know. I, I'm not really thinking right. Do you want me to just tell you? I'm going to say James Bond is my final answer. Okay. Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Okay. Which book is set in Airstrip 1 on a province of the super state Oceania in a world of perpetual war and government surveillance? I don't think I've read this book. My, my, the thought of the premise sounds like 1984. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Bram Stoker gave birth to a popular literary character in one of his novels in 1897. What was the name of that character? The only one I know is Dracula. Yeah. That wait. was question four. Ugh. Question five is, wait, did you, you, you didn't take off clothes. I, what did I get For wrong? Sher Sherlock. Oh, yeah. Okay, question five. In which novel do we find the characters Bentley Drummle, Joe Gargery, and Herbert Pocket? I've never heard of any of those names. It's probably some book that you like. I like Pride and Prejudice. It's a book that if if you read it every time that I told you to read it, then you would get this question. Read right. the names again, just the names. The names are Bentley Drummle, Joe Gargery, Herbert Pocket. Is Pride and Prejudice the one you like a lot? I like Pride and Prejudice, sure. Let's go with that one. No. I don't know. It's Great Expectations. Oh, that's the one other one I always get confused with, Pride and Prejudice. All right, well, I guess these old sweatpants are coming off. It's getting hot up here anyways. That was not my favorite round. What novel written by Oscar Wilde has to do with immortality? Oh, The Picture of Dorian Gray. That was too easy. Okay. Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights tells of a tragic romance between two lovers. Keith Cliff and Catherine. I didn't even finish the question. Well, these are obviously too too easy for you. In A Christmas Carol, how many ghosts visit Scrooge? This is a trick question. 
because they want you to say three, but it's four because Marley. All right, all right. <laughs> In what city was C.S. Lewis born? Oh, I don't know. Um, I would guess. I know he lived in London, but I, I don't know where he's born. I told you this like um, a week and a half ago, and mm. so I wanted to see if you were, you um, pay attention to what I say. <laughs> I definitely didn't because I I don't I don't think I know this, but I know he was like in London. I'll give you a hint since you okay. gave me a hint. It has to do with um, a sleep story I was listening to on Calm. Oh, oh, it's maybe. We were in, maybe in Ireland. Maybe he was born in Dublin. Okay, I'm gonna say Dublin. It's Belfast. Okay. All right. Okay, let me take a take a, a slipper off. Is it is it off? Yeah. Oh, okay, on our yeah, system. Yeah, it's really easy. Okay, who is the author of the classic masterpiece Anna Karenina? Oh, uh, Tolstoy. All right, you got four out of five of literature. Good job. Now we move on to entertainment. Okay, question one. Weeds and Orange is the New Black were created by whom? Weeds yeah. and Orange is the New Black. Um, I watched Weeds. I'm trying to remember who the creator is. I knew that you loved that show, so I thought you might know this. I didn't love it. Um, it really fell off after a couple seasons. Oh, I I thought that you loved the show, so I thought you I actually know don't it. know who created that show. Um, I I don't have an answer. I thought that you'd know how to pronounce it. So, I don't even so know. it's it's Genji Cohen. Oh, Genji Cohen. Okay, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's familiar now that you say it. Okay, what are you what are you taking off? Oh gosh! All right, I only have two pieces. You should have left. worn slippers up here. It was hot. Okay, you're gonna get this one right. Good, because I'm really <laughs> kind of close. Okay. Which album made Taylor Swift the youngest person to win a Grammy for Album of the Year? I mean, it's got to be Fearless. Is that your final, final answer? Final answer. That's correct. Okay, how many months did Conan O'Brien host The Tonight Show for? Three, seven, or nine? All right, he started hosting just after I moved away from L.A. I think he was there for nine months. Is that your final answer? Final answer. It's seven. Okay, I lost. Okay, so you just have to do the rest of these naked. Yeah. Okay. Okay, question four. Here's looking at you, kid, was said by which famous actor? Humphrey Bogart. Question five. What movie does the quote, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse, come from? The Godfather. That's it. In what decade was Madonna born? I'm going to say she was in her 20s in the 80s. I'm going to say she was born in the 60s. No, she was born in 1950s. She was born in 1958. She looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'll take off another slipper. How long is an Olympic swimming pool in meters? 50. Oh, you were paying attention when I had the Olympics. <laughs> the movie You've Got Mail is a 1998 remake. The original film released in 1940 was called what? Shop Around the Corner. What was the name of the family who starred in Seventh Heaven? Oh, the Camdens. What? That just came up today. What do you mean it came up? Because that. Because you we mentioned watching, it earlier? Yeah, when we were watching Curb. What year was the movie The Titanic released? I want to say 97. Um, let's see. It came out on video on VHS in, in when we were in third grade, which was mostly 98. And. I think it came out in theaters in 97. Final answer, 97. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Moving on now. That was a clean sweep. You, you just didn't. Oh, and entertainment. And, oh, well, no, you, know, you got the Madonna question wrong. So that was four out of five again. So moving on to geography. Okay. Which U.S. state has the most water in it? You have to think about this. Well, Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes. Michigan has like the Upper Peninsula. I don't know what they count as water in it because it's like, it's not really in it. Um, yeah, it's not about lakes touching Alaska it. might have a lot of lakes. I, I've never been there and it's a huge state. So that to me seems like the one. I'll go with Alaska. It's Alaska. Okay. Good. 
Good job. Okay. Question two. What country borders both the Caspian Sea and the Persian Gulf? The Caspian Sea. I'll go with um, Afghanistan. So close. What was your second? Like, what was your second gut and Iran. Iran. Yeah, Iran. it's Iran. Okay. It's, you, you I'm already nothing. naked. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, take off your headphones. <laughs> How many U.S. states border the Gulf of Mexico? I thought this would be a fun one for you. Why would that be fun because for you me? Because can, you can count. You can... The Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Okay. I I honestly don't know. This, this, I guess Texas is included, right? So if you go east of Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Say them again. Did you just do five? Yeah. I think you did them all. Here, say it again. Texas, Louisiana, um, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Yeah, you got five. it. Okay. Okay, question four. How many U.S. national parks are there? I think you've been to all of them. so I think No, I have know. not. <laughs> How many? Mm -hmm. There's tons. Mm -hmm. why, would you, why would you ask me a random numbers question? I, I, your family really loves national parks. I thought you might know. <laughs> you think I know random numbers and okay. I don't. I'll say three numbers and you pick which one. Thank you. 43, 53, 63. I would assume you'd bookend it with higher and lower, so I'm going to say 53. I knew that you would assume that, so I <laughs> didn't do that. It's 63. Oh, you jerk. Okay, question five. What is the least populated U.S. state? I think you might know this. I think it's Wyoming. It is. Okay. Okay. Is that five? That's five. I'm going to do really terribly in geography, so. Good. Okay, not including Alaskan cities, what is the largest U.S. city by land size? By land size? I don't know. I know New York is by population, and also there's a lot of land to fit all those people. Is it a, is it a capital? Can I ask you if it's a capital? It's not a capital. It's not a capital. I bet it's like in Montana. They just got tired of breaking stuff up, so they just like, <laughs> that all is just a city. Maybe it's, I'm just going to say it's, what's a city that's not a capital of Montana? <laughs> Can I think of the capital? We've been to one. I know. Mi Missoula. No, it's not Missoula, Montana. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jacksonville, Florida with 747 square miles. I never would have guessed Jacksonville, miles. Florida. Okay. Oh, okay. let me take off the sock. Yeah, go ahead and take off your sock. Meanwhile, we will move on to question two while you work with the sock. What country produces the most coffee in the world? Hmm. My gut instinct says it's a South American country or a Central American country. Maybe like Ecuador, final answer. No, it's Brazil. Okay, how's the other sock coming? It's right here. Okay. What is the capital of Spain? The capital of Spain is Madrid. Yeah, well, that was an easy one for you. Thanks. I just want to give you some confidence. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. Okay, what is the world's biggest island? The world's biggest island? Is it Australia? Is that your final answer? I mean... Yeah. No. Oh, Greenland? Yes, it's Greenland. <laughs> I'll take off my pants anyway. Okay, hit me. What is Pennsylvania's state nickname? Oh, Pennsylvania. Um, I should know this from the Wonder Years. You definitely know it from the Wonder Years. <laughs> but I just have been listening to them. The show, not or yeah, the band, not the show. Um, Pennsylvania. I can't think of it. Um. There's also a beer named after its nickname. If I was naming a beer in Pennsylvania, I would call it I P A. <laughs> well, what what's your answer? Um, it's definitely in like thirteen Wonder Years songs, but yeah. I can't think of it, so I don't know. You don't know is your final answer? I guess. The Keystone State. The Keystone State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that wraps up all of our standard rounds, and now it brings us to the wild card round. How many bras are you wearing? 
too. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's not fair. It's a reasonable amount. Next of time I'm loading up on underwear. Wild card round. Start it off. I picked two questions for you, so I have to pick which one I want to do more. Okay. Pick the easier one, please. I think this is. I think you'll get this. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. From which country does Gouda cheese originate? <sighs> okay. A. The Netherlands. B. Norway. C. Denmark. D. Sweden. It's all the same region. Mm-hmm. I have Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands. Netherlands. I'm, I'm guessing between uh, Denmark and Netherlands, honestly. I'm going to say the Netherlands. It's the Netherlands. All right. Good job. All right, Galata, for your wild card question. Do you want to hear what the other wild card question sure, is? Sure, for fun. How many hearts does an octopus have? Oh, I think they have two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for your question. What does the Q in IQ stand for? Oh, I don't know. A, quantity. B, quorum. C, quality. D, quotient. Quotient. Yes, correct. What does the I stand for? Intelligence? I, yeah, I think it's something like that. I don't remember. I just I just heard it for the first I, time. I heard it the other day, and I was like, I should remember that, and then I didn't retain it at we all. We were watching The Chase, and he said it. All right. Good game, Inski. That's strip trivia. Until next time, I'm Dangling Dan. On strip and rage. Strip Trivia is written, recorded, and produced by us, Rachel Galata and Daniel Inski. You can find out more about us online under the name Mango Street Lab. That's all for this one. We'll see you next time.